Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I know you guys see the title. I know y'all are excited. Okay, so this video is going to have a lot of stuff in it. I'm just gonna warn you guys right now. So basically, if you guys keep up with my community tab or you see it here and there, I did post something about the accessories video that I was initially going to do. So basically, I was gonna have jewelry, bags, sunglasses. I think that was it. Jewelry, bag, and sunglasses. And after I posted that poll, I counted everything and it was literally over 100 items. And I was like, there's absolutely no way that I can just do one video because that would be a very long video and I feel like it would just be super chaotic and just way too much going on. So as you can see, this video is going to be the jewelry video and I'm going to start a little bit of a series, not like anything major, but I'm just gonna break it up into categories. So this one will be for jewelry. Then I'll have another one for bags. I'll have another one for heels because I personally feel like heels are an accessory and maybe sunglasses. I don't think I need a whole video for that. I don't know if you guys really care to have an entire video on sunglasses. So let me know down below if that's what you guys want. But as of right now, I do for sure have a three video series for accessories for the bags, the jewelry, and the shoes. So this video is going to be broken up into chapters. So you guys know when I do videos that have a lot of information in them, I like to break it up into chapters. So I will have necklaces, bracelets, rings, and earrings in this video. So if you want to go to a specific tab, you can if you're looking for something very specific. So we're gonna start off with the necklaces. So basically, I'm gonna start off with the two necklaces that I get the most questions about, and it is my LV lock necklaces. So this is the gold one, and then this is the silver one. So these are from the M Vintage. If you guys watched my mini designer haul, you guys saw that I purchased some bags from her, but she also makes these really cute chains with the LV lock and key. And I got the gold one and the silver one, and these are like my favorite, favorite accessories. I love to layer with these, and you guys have seen this a million times, but the lock is actually removable. So then you could just wear the chain as is. So these necklaces are like 150 a piece maybe more maybe a little bit less i can't remember but i really like these i feel like they're a staple for me in my wardrobe or my jewelry collection so if it's something you want to purchase i definitely highly recommend it i feel like it's worth the money but yeah you can always take off the lock you could put it on something else you could put it on a bracelet like a little charm basically so yeah these are the first two necklaces and we're going to move on to the next so next up one of the necklaces that i get the most questions about is the one right here the nike necklace and then i also have just the nike check on its own and as much as i want to tell you guys where i got these from i don't because i had the worst 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 experience with customer service with this particular seller so i will be telling you guys another place where you can purchase them from because i just i just don't want to give them no promo because they don't deserve it i'm just saying okay i'm just saying but this necklace you can find anywhere honestly probably for cheaper than what she was selling it for so yeah so yeah with these nike necklaces you can actually find them on etsy i will link a seller that is reliable down below who has like good ratings and stuff like that down below but yeah these are the perfect necklaces for my type of style streetwear type of style like super casual sneakers obviously these are just perfect it just adds something to your outfit so yeah these are definitely two of my favorite necklaces in my collection and we're going to move on to the next one okay so here we have a necklace that i literally get questions about like 20 times a day literally i wear this in all my videos all my photos all that jazz and i get so many questions about this necklace and it is from miss lola and i have had this necklace for like a year and i ended up going to buy another one because i just love this necklace so much i love this b it's super pretty i don't know if you guys can like see it i'll put it down here but it is a cursive b and it has the rhinestones or diamonds in it and the chain is just very dainty i low-key wish the chain was a little bit shorter because it does fall like down here which i like for some looks but sometimes i wish it was a little bit higher but you can easily take this charm off of this necklace 
and put it on another one and you'll be good to go. But yeah, this one is one of my favorites and you guys ask me about it all the time. So if you do want to save some money, if you go and buy this necklace, I will have my coupon code listed in the description box for you guys, but yeah. Okay, so this next necklace is from Miss Lola as well. And I will have close-ups with them on my neck so you guys can actually see them because I know you guys are probably like, girl, we can't see that. But this is from Miss Lola as well. And it is a Sagittarius necklace. For those of you who don't know, I'm pretty sure you guys all know, maybe not, I don't know, but I'm a Sagittarius and I just like this necklace, it's super cute. So with necklaces, I like to get different like phrases or names or anything like that so like my name obviously brianna or brawny and then my zodiac sign sagittarius and then i like to have like initials so i'll get a b or i'll get like a c for my husband or for anyone in my family like my sister my dad my mom and yeah i like to layer them and then when you have a bunch of varieties of different types of necklaces you can layer them and that's how you create like a cute little everyday or just create like a cute little neck piece if you will it's kind of like art so you definitely want to get chains that have different lengths to them so this one would be a 14 this one would be a like 15 and then this one is probably like a 16 and as you can see it just lays perfectly okay so next up we have this necklace right here and i'm not even gonna lie to y'all i do not remember where i got this necklace from but when i do find it because i will i will put it on the screen so you guys can go and cop but i found this by just like i seen it on like the explore page i'm pretty sure but it is a chanel or double c necklace and it is so freaking cute it's like diamonds and the c's are just this looks legit okay I'm not gonna hold y'all this looks legit it literally looks very like luxurious it looks very dainty it's a really really nice piece i haven't worn this yet because i feel like this is more of a dressier necklace and i don't really wear anything super dressy and i don't go nowhere child but if i go out to dinner or something like that this would be the perfect necklace to wear but i really really like this one i want to say it was like 40 50 bucks but i think it's worth it it's a really nice necklace and if you want to you know be bougie on a budget this is like the perfect necklace okay so next up we have this bad boy right here and i'm pretty sure you guys have seen this every freaking wear this is a vivian westwood dupe and i got this on amazon and i initially had the silver and the gold one but i sent back the silver one because it was broke when i got it so I sent it back and I'm sure you guys have noticed but I don't really wear silver like that so I sent it back because it was broke and because I probably wasn't gonna wear it as often anyway so as you guys can see close up it has like the little Vivian Westwood symbol and then the little pearls and I think this is like the perfect dupe if you want to you know batting on a budget here we go again batting on a budget and yeah this I got on Amazon it was probably like 15 bucks which is a steal compared to the real deal I actually kind of want the real one so yeah it's been really difficult to find online because i can't really tell what's real and what's not because the dupes of these necklaces are like spot on but i have been looking at like real versus fake so i'm trying to find a real one because i really do want the original the og the real deal okay so yeah this is super cute and like i said i got this on amazon okay so i know i said i don't wear a lot of silver but i do still have silver jewelry because I do wear it occasionally and sometimes I do need me some silver pieces so this is from Amazon as well. So for my necklaces or for the jewelry in this video I'm going to try to keep it as organized as possible. So I'm going to have the sections like I said but in each section I'm going to show all of the necklaces that are from the same place together so that it's you know compacted. So down below in the description box I will have everything listed in the order that it was shown in the video just to make it easier but this is from Amazon and this is super cute it's very dainty it's a silver cross with some diamonds in it and if i'm not mistaken i think this is sterling silver i'm not really sure but i really do like it it looks really cute on the neck i actually paired this with an outfit that i just recently posted on instagram i'll put it on one of these sides but it was such a cute piece to add to the outfit because i had a little cross on my tank top and this was the perfect necklace it's not too flashy it's not super thick it's very dainty but it's still very sturdy it doesn't feel like it's just gonna break so yeah this is really really nice and like i said this one is from amazon okay so next up i have two necklaces that i low-key don't even want to tell you guys where they're from because i no longer support this company but i do get asked a lot of questions about these necklaces and i'm just going to tell you guys where they're from if you do still shop there you can go and see if they have them but i've actually had these necklaces for almost two years now so i don't know if they're still even on the site 
but it is this really grungy style necklace so it's silver and as you can see it has like a huge safety pin and like a little clasp and then this one is also a huge safety pin and then it has a cross attached at the bottom so it's a really cool necklace i really like these but like i said i've had these for years and they are from dolls kill and if you know you know okay i'm not getting into it okay so another one of my favorite places to get jewelry from is the m jeweler and this video is not sponsored or anything like that but they did send me these and i have purchased stuff from them before they're like one of the biggest jewelry sellers if you will on instagram and i'm pretty sure they're based in new york city but they sent me over some really cute pieces so the first one is a nameplate which you guys will see up close but it just says brawny and it's in like a gothic font and the chain is really really dainty i picked out these chains myself and i wanted to create like a cute little layering piece so hopefully they look good together because <laughs> I didn't really know what looked good with what because I wasn't able to like try them on or anything. But yeah, this one just says brawny. And then next up we have a B and this is literally just an initial necklace. And the chain is a little bit thicker on this one. And the B is also, I believe in the same font. I think it's like Gothic or something like that. But I got a B because like I said, I like to get necklaces with different like phrases or initials or zodiacs. And I also have one more. So this very last one just says 93 and this is in like a varsity style font and if you guys didn't know i was born in 93 and i just wanted a 93 necklace or a birth year necklace because i have one but i lost it and it was 1993 but i like the 93 a lot better and this one is really really cute this is definitely going to become one of my like super streetwear casual outfit type of necklaces so yeah this one is super cute and like i said these are all from the m jeweler I know you guys have heard of them, but if you haven't, I will link it down below. Okay, so the very last necklace I have is this one right here. And this is like a thicker gold chain that I like to layer with. So for example, I would take off this chain and put this one on and it kind of fits very similar. It's this one, like a choker almost. And this is from the Source Unknown. That is one of my favorite places ever. That is where I got these sweats from that you guys absolutely loved. That is where I got this necklace from. And they are a little bit on the pricier side, but their stuff is very unique and it's very good quality. So I highly recommend you guys check them out. But yeah, this necklace is from the Source Unknown. And you know how there's like different shades of gold? I feel like this gold is very gold, like yellow gold. It's very, very gold. I can't even explain it. But this is a really, really nice piece. It's very good quality. Everything in this video that I'm showing you are my staples and they're good quality. So yeah, I don't even need to go into that, but I wanted to let you guys know that real quick in case anyone was gonna ask as far as like wear, quality, all that. These are necklaces that I've had for a, a minute, okay? Yeah, everything in this video I'm showing you are my absolute favorites, okay? They are amazing quality for the price. I feel like everything is quite affordable in this video. Also, it's stuff that I wear all the time, so they are my staples, which is why they're in this video because if I were to show you guys my whole jewelry collection, we'd be here forever. So of course I have to let you guys know where the necklaces that I'm wearing are from. And this gold choker style necklace right here is actually from Shein. It was probably like $3, maybe five. I don't even know, but it was very, very affordable. And then this Nike necklace, like I said, will be linked down below with the other one. And this B necklace is actually from Bag It Up on Instagram. I will have her Instagram on the screen and down below. And I also have other accessories in this video from her as well, which I'll let you guys know. But I had to let you guys know what I was wearing, of course, because that's the point, right? Okay, so now we're gonna move on to why I'm pretty sure all of you are watching this video, and that is bracelets. So I get so many questions about my bracelets and I have my everyday bracelets or the arm candy, if you will, that I wear with literally everything because it just goes with everything. So we're gonna start off with these right here. And I'm also going to include watches because I only have two and they're pretty much bracelets. So yeah. So first up is this gold watch that you guys see all the freaking time. And I've had this for like five plus years. I actually purchased this in California in store. I can't remember the name of the store because it was like a local store, but it was kind of like a Zoomies vibe type of store. And you guys know if you go to Zoomies or Paxson or any store like that, they do sell like watches. 
and you can easily find one when you go to the mall but like i said i purchased this in store but i did find it on amazon so i will have it linked below and then these two bracelets right here are from bag it up which is where this b necklace is from so this second bracelet right here is a twisted like knot style bracelet and it's actually a cuff and then this one right here is a really thick cuban style bracelet and it snaps in the back but these are the bracelets and the watch that i wear literally all the freaking time and then these two right here i just decided to put on because i felt like this arm looked a little naked low-key but these are actually bangles from shein and i must say the quality on these is quite impeccable okay these were actually a little bit more pricier than most of their jewelry and i could see why because they're almost giving me like gold plated a little bit it didn't say that it was gold plated but these are giving me quality okay they honestly couldn't have been more than ten dollars but most of their bracelets are like two dollars three dollars so i knew that these were going to be a little bit more of a better quality so that's why i got them but yeah this one is like a bamboo style bracelet and then this one is like engraved so you guys will see that close up but yeah these are from shein okay so next up we do have another set of really thick Cuban style bracelets. And I was on the internet looking for basically this bracelet in silver because I wanted to have a silver one in my collection. And I found this one on AliExpress, okay sis. It took about two to three weeks. I'll put exactly how long it took on the screen from the day that I ordered it, but it was completely worth it. These are actually really, really good quality and they're stainless steel, so they do not rust. They do not, you know, get all janky. But I did order two of these just in case because, you know, they were like 20 something bucks, which is actually really, really good. Very, very affordable in my opinion. And yeah, I wanted a silver one. And while I was there, I also got gold. And with these, they're actually a lot thicker, not even a lot, a little bit thicker than this one that i showed you guys earlier so i like having the option of like a slimmer one but yeah like i said these are from aliexpress and i will have these linked down below let me know if you guys want to see like an aliexpress jewelry haul because i ain't even gonna hold y'all a lot of this jewelry that i have in this video is on aliexpress but if you want to get it quicker then you could easily order it from any of these places but a lot of this jewelry is on aliexpress as well so if you guys want to see a aliexpress haul in general just let me know down below like what you want it to be jewelry shoes bags clothes anything like that just let me know down below okay so next up we have this bracelet which you guys probably remember from the beginning i showed you the lv necklace she also has a matching lv bracelet and they don't come together you do have to buy them separately the only thing about this bracelet that's kind of annoying is the lock just hanging and sometimes i'm scared that it's going to like unlock because i keep the key in it but yeah it just kind of like dangles like that which low-key can be annoying sometimes but this is super super cute i love it and like i said it's literally the exact same as the necklace it's just shorter in a bracelet form and this one i can't remember how much it costs it's definitely a lot cheaper than the necklace but it's still not like no it's not like 20 bucks so yeah this is super duper cute and as you can see it has the key in it but you can definitely take the key out okay you can definitely take the key out so that it has a little bit less annoyingness to it because the key kind of makes it stick out a little bit further. But yeah, this is super duper cute. Love this. Okay, so next up we have another watch and this is also from the brand Nixon. And this is just a silver version of this one. Now this one is a quite bit bigger, okay, than this one. And I kind of don't like that. I like for my watches to be very dainty but this was the only one that i could find and i needed it like quickly so i did get this on amazon and i do want to go and find this size because i don't know if you guys could see the difference but this silver one is freaking huge compared to my gold one i don't know if you guys can even see that so you see the face of the silver one and then the face of the gold one it's pretty it's like double the size and it's a little bit too not necessarily masculine, but I just like for my watches to be dainty, if that makes sense. So yeah, this I got on Amazon. I might send it back because I don't really like how big and chunky it is. If I do find a slimmer one, I will put it down below as well because I'm pretty sure a lot of people prefer their watches to be slim, just like me. So I will have this one and a slimmer one linked below. 
Okay, so this bracelet right here is a silver Cartier style bracelet and I got this on Amazon. It does have some diamonds or rhinestones in it. And this I got because I really wanted a silver bracelet in this style and I was not about to go buy no damn Cartier bracelet, okay? So I got this one on Amazon for like 15 bucks, maybe less, can't remember, but I really do like it and you just press it down on one of these sides press it down like that and then it just opens up like this and then you just put it on your wrist and you close it. So. Okay, so next up is probably another reason why a lot of you are here. And as you can see, I have so many freaking bangles. I'm sorry for the noise, but they're just gonna be shaking. These are probably some of my favorite just pieces in my jewelry collection in general because I love bangles, okay? I love them as you can see. I literally have another one of these on the floor, which I'll show you guys in a second but these are just everything and i have to have them in every color because they are just such a statement piece when it comes to styling your outfits so this entire situation right here these are all from shein i know you guys probably already knew that but these are all from shein and these are some of my favorite ones especially the clear ones because the clear ones literally can go with any outfit and then i love this like cream and then like a mauve color and then brown and as you can see clear pink one can y'all see that it's like pink kind of red and then i have a blue one and then i have a green one and then i have a brown one and i'm pretty sure you guys have seen that these style of bracelets are super trendy lately all these places that i've been seeing these bracelets on are like selling these for like 30 dollars a piece and get your money okay get your money sis but i got all of these for probably $30, honestly. Each of these was like $2 on Shein. So if you wanna get some affordable bracelets, sis, because I guarantee you these are the same bracelets that they're selling, just, you know, obviously upcharging, then go on Shein. Okay, these are literally $2 a piece as opposed to people selling them for 30, 40, I've seen up to $60 for just one of these, which is crazy to me, but do what you gotta do, sis. So all of these on the top, up until you get to this one are from Shein. So all of these are from Shein. So the one that I just showed you previously, all of those were plastic. And the thing about these, which I didn't, I had no clue, these three right here are basically like glass. So, can you hear that? These are literally glass. I don't know the exact material, but you get the point. But even with these being glass or whatever they are, they were still like $3, which is crazy because like I said, I've seen these bracelets for up to $60 for just one. So I got these. I didn't know that they were gonna be like this, but I just want to let you guys know that. So if you do decide to buy them, you'll know what to expect. So like I said, all of these up here are from Shein. And then every bracelet from this one below is from Etsy. And if you guys are looking for like unique, vintage, just one of a kind bracelets or bangles or jewelry in general, these are literally bracelets that people are selling on Etsy that are pretty much one of a kind. And I was able to snag up all of these and I love them so freaking much. These right here are not necessarily one of a kind. I think the girl actually makes them, but these right here are vintage, like from the 80s, the 70s like old, really old bracelets. And I really, really like all of these so much. As you can see, I have some color. Okay, so the very last holder that I have here, all of these are from Etsy. Only ones that you can probably get again are these right here because these aren't vintage. But these here at the bottom are vintage, so I cannot physically link these down below. But I can link like some of the sellers that I've purchased these from because they sell a lot of vintage bracelets, rings, earrings, just jewelry in general. Yeah, this one is all from Etsy. So as you can see, I love Etsy. If you're looking for a very unique, one of a kind type of jewelry, I would definitely check out Etsy because they have so much and I have my eye on a few pieces. Okay, so now that we're done with the bracelets, I'm just gonna move on to earrings because this is literally gonna be the shortest section in this video because I wear the same earrings over and over again. So every time I get dressed, I wear typically some white pearls. It doesn't matter what I have on. It doesn't matter if I have on all gold jewelry, all silver. I literally only wear pearls. And I typically get these on ASOS. I literally buy them in like bulk. They're like $5 a piece. 
and they last for a very very long time and for me personally i'll buy like three maybe five at a time so i just have them on deck so i do have a couple of them in here and then also i rock my telfar studs so i have the gold and the silver and you guys cannot see that but it's literally just the telfar symbol and i have them in gold and silver so these are literally the only earrings that i ever wear because i don't really wear hoops or super dramatic like dangly type of earrings i do for certain occasions but like i said in this video i'm just going over like my everyday staples so yeah the earrings very simple i don't do too much with my earrings if i do wear earrings that are more than this it'll just be like a small gold hoop uh, maybe like a honestly that's about it probably like a cute little gold hoop or something like that and that's literally it okay so the very last portion of the video we have our rings and I have a lot of rings so I'm going to try to get through this as quickly as possible but we're going to start off with my gold ring so the very first one we have here as you can see is from the M jeweler and it is just a nameplate ring which you guys will see up close but it just says brawny and it's super super cute I've been wanting a nameplate ring for a very 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 long time should have wore this one today because it's super cute and it kind of goes with my vibe super chill streetwear but i love this freaking ring it's so dainty but it's a statement piece at the same time and my ring size is a six and a half i don't think anyone cares but if anyone's wondering i have very skinny fingers so sometimes a six and a half is too big too but yeah i'm a six and a half and this is from the m jeweler okay so next up i have these two rings right here and these are both nike rings and it is from the exact same place where i got my nike necklaces but like I said, I'm going to link down below a different place where you can get them from on Etsy. So I'm pretty sure all the sellers that I link below for the necklaces are going to be the same for the rings. But if they're not, I will specify that down below. But yeah, these are just really cute. This one is like a band and it just has black Nike checks all around it. And then this one is kind of like a varsity homecoming style type of ring and it just has a Nike check on the front. So all of these rings that I have like in the middle of my fingers and at the top are all from bag it up and i'll get close up so you can see but i just have an initial ring i have africa right here on my pointer finger and then i just have nefertiti right here on my thumb and these are all from bag it up like i said and she just has some of the most it's just bomb okay bomb jewelry it's all good quality i don't have any issues with like discoloration i wash my hands with this jewelry all the time and i don't have any issues so yeah, I'm not exactly sure what it's made of, the material, but I have very sensitive skin and I don't have any issues with any of these, any of the pieces in this video, but I don't have any issues with any of the pieces from Bag It Up. So yeah, these are super duper cute. Okay, so don't mind my crooked ass nails. I literally pressed these on right before this video. But so these three rings right here, the R, E, and E are from Amazon. And I just got these to pair with the B that I just showed you from Bag It Up. And then this ring right here is from Amazon as well. This one is definitely one of my favorites. It's super duper cute. It's like a shell almost. I can't really explain it, but yeah, these are all from Amazon. And while we're here, I'll just let you guys know where these are from. So this is also from the seller that I got the Nike necklaces from and I'm not gonna promote. So I'm going to look for where I can find this at online. And then these two, this one is from Amazon this one is from shein and then this over here these two are from shein and then this one is from bag it up okay so last but certainly not least we have all of these <laughs> i hope i don't drop any oh there goes one there goes two okay but of course i get mine on shein and i literally have them in every color that you can imagine and these are usually like anywhere from two three maybe even a dollar fifty on Shein so I buy them in every color that they have because they always come in handy and they have some really pretty unique colors as well so I like to get those but some of my favorites are this red one I love this pink one this yellow one this blue one of course a white one which can go with a lot of things this really pretty color it's like a a teal kind of sort of 
more of so like a green looky. And then of course, orange. I even have a clear one, which always comes in handy. So yeah, if you don't get anything in this video, I highly recommend you go and pick up some of these rings because they're super trendy and they just add to an outfit. Literally accessories are just so important in my opinion. And I feel like your outfit can literally just be popping, but it could be even more popping if you throw on some accessories. So I like to have them in all colors, all shapes, all sizes, all that jazz, because you just never know when you're gonna need any of this, you know? Okay guys, so that is the end of this accessory haul. I hope this wasn't too hectic or confusing or too much, okay? Because I know it was a lot of stuff. So just like in the video, I will have everything categorized in the description box by what it is, and then I'll have it categorized by where it's from so that it's not super confusing. And let me know if that works. If you guys want me to kind of do it a little bit differently, I'll switch it up so it'll be a little bit easier to follow. But that's how I'm gonna have it initially, so hopefully you guys can, you know, find everything you're looking for. If it's a red ring, I'll put red ring. If it's blue, if it's a nameplate ring, I'll have it very specific so you guys can find what you're looking for. So I love you guys so, so much. Thank you so much for watching. And also, I'm pretty sure I will mention this in the beginning of the video, but I have no clue where this hair is from. I literally found this 1B wig in my wig stash and I decided to color it and this is what I got. It came out actually pretty cute. Some places came out way lighter and then other places came out much darker, but I kind of like it. It's a vibe. I love this blonde patch that I have over here. So if you guys want to see me like recreate this somehow, then also let me know down below. So yeah, make sure you guys follow me on Instagram because you guys will see all this stuff per usual. You guys love my detail shots. So I want to give you guys more of that on my Instagram with all of this stuff in this video. Also, I never thought I'd be saying this, but follow me on TikTok, okay? I posted my first TikTok and you guys loved it, okay? I did like a little test video and then I actually posted like a real informal video and you guys loved it, so follow me on there, okay? Never thought I'd be saying that. <laughs> but follow me on TikTok, follow me on Instagram, okay? I would say Twitter, but I kind of gave up on Twitter. I'm sorry, you guys. It's just, I don't know what to post on there. So if you guys do want me to post on Twitter, let me know what to post because I have no clue. I don't really know how Twitter works. I feel like you just post whatever you're thinking. So maybe I'll do that. I don't know. But yeah, let me know down below. And with that being said, I'm going to get out of here. I love you guys so, so much. And I will see you in my next one.